YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Ray Lynn, also known as Baby Meech, and today we are going to be cooking in the kitchen, and I am your host. So today we are going to be making my absolute favorite banana bread. It's chocolate chip banana bread. Uh, uh, it's amazing. So I'm sharing my little secret recipe with you guys and I'm so excited to show you. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, make sure you do that right now. It really helps me out. And also, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really supports me and it makes me feel good. Let's get into cooking in the kitchen. We are going to preheat our oven now to 350 degrees. You wanna bake it at a lower temperature because it's going to be baking for a while. So you don't wanna scorch that sucker. Let's preheat. I'm gonna tell you what you need. I was gonna divide all of these up like, you know, super cute and professional so I could just whip them in. But then I was like, you know what? We're gonna keep it real. Nobody actually does that. And uh, I don't wanna wash all those dishes. So we're keeping it real up in here. I'm just gonna add it as we go. So the things that you're gonna need are flour, brown sugar, cinnamon, vanilla, baking soda, baking powder, chocolate chips, I prefer semi-sweet, two eggs, three really nice and ripe bananas, and a stick of softened butter. And then I am going to use Crisco and some flour to make this thing so it doesn't stick. We're gonna grease our pan. As a kid, I used to use a baggie on my hand and I'd like zip it, but ain't nobody got time for that now. So I'm just gonna use a paper towel. Now I'm just going to add some flour into this pan just to get it coated. That's gonna help it not stick. I'm gonna do it over the sink though. All right, so there is our grease and floured pan. So we're gonna set that aside for now. My grandma's probably loving this video because it'll remind her of when I was a little kid and we made a little cooking show and I have come a long way, let's put it that way. <laughs> All right, oven's preheated. That means we need to get our butts moving on this so it's not running any longer than we need it to. You're gonna need two bowls because we're gonna have our wet ingredients and our dry ingredients separate. Guys, we're gonna mix our wet ingredients. All right, we're gonna start with our bananas, peel these. So now that we have our bananas in our bowl, we're just going to take a fork and we're just going to mash the bananas. This is about the consistency that you want. I leave a little bit chunky in there. You don't want it completely look. So we're gonna add half a teaspoon of vanilla. My stick of butter. I'll add two eggs. Normally I do this like in a separate bowl in case of eggshells, just like that. Oh, darn it. Quickly mix this up. So we're actually gonna add the brown sugar to the wet mixture just because there's eggs in there and that needs to have some time to absorb the sugar. So this is three fourths a cup. So we're gonna do three one fourths. I'm gonna mix that in. Okay, beautiful. Now we're just gonna set this to the side. Now we're going to put in our dry ingredients. We're going to do one and three fourths cup of flour. Well, this is what I add to my banana bread that I not everyone adds. So if you don't like cinnamon, you don't have to add it, but I love cinnamon, so does my dad. I'm adding cinnamon to this. Delicioso. Adding half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now we're gonna add half a teaspoon of salt, which I didn't mention that you needed, but you need salt. This is just going to boost your flavors in your bread. So now we're going to add our baking soda. Okay, this is gonna be half a teaspoon of baking soda. All right, and then we're gonna do one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Half. Just get everything like 
evenly distributed. It's gonna get exciting because we're going to slowly add our dry mixture into our wet mixture. In a little bit of this, we put a little in there, and we're just gonna fold that in. Okay, so now that I have all of my ingredients combined in the bowl, I'm going to add the last ingredient that makes it so amazing. Choco Choco Chips. Semi-sweet. Okay, so, I don't really have a measurement for this, so you guys just add the amount that makes you happy. I like chocolate chips, okay? Here is the batter. This is my least favorite thing to do though because I always like spill. I'm just gonna do it nice and gently. Now I'm just going to kind of spread it in there evenly. It doesn't have to be perfect, but this recipe will be in the description below, but make sure that you keep watching so you can see my reaction when we take the first bite. So, we're going to put this in the oven. This is going to bake for about 50 minutes to an hour. Keep your eye on it. Once it gets golden brown, stick a toothpick in it, do what you gotta do, but 50 to 60 minutes is a safe bet. So, let's chuck her in. This is also the worst part because now we have to wait, which sucks. Other than the chocolate chip, I think that's done. All right, you guys, so that is my banana bread recipe. So now you're just gonna let it sit in here and cool down a little bit. And once that's cool, we're gonna do a taste test. I'll talk to you guys once this is cool. I'm in my cozies, and that means it's time for banana bread. It's still warm, but I like it warm because I like it a little bit melty, but it has to be cool enough so it doesn't fall apart. So, we are going to cut this baby open. Uh -huh. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That is done perfectly. All right, let's take a bite. Seriously, is so good. It's just like dense, flavorful, and then the chocolate chips and the cinnamon. Oh, you guys, please try this recipe. If you like banana bread, you guys, just please try this. Honestly, like when you guys take pictures of your stuff and send it to me, I've had people do that for my smoothie bowl. And it just like made me so happy seeing people actually trying my recipes. And I really do think you guys will love this recipe if you try and you make it. So that recipe is in the description below. That is everything I have for you guys this week. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. And also make sure you guys share this with your friends and family. If you make it, give them some. Spread the love, this stuff is so good. Also, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel because I post every Monday, and I will see you guys next week. Bye! I can't reach your way over there. It is going to be in this just kit. I'm going to add my favorite. This is the end piece. Bug. She's thick, so she takes a while. <laughs> <laughs>